If you ever have the thought that I am fake, I don't deserve to be here, or I'm not smart enough to be here, this is for you. Welcome back to another episode of Small Girl Big Talk, where we talk about all the big stuff in adulthood like self-identity, relationships, mental health, money, and all the other important things that you care about. I'm your host, Wendy, and my hope for this podcast is for it to bring comfort and help you to feel a little bit less alone in your adulthood journey. Today, I want to talk about imposter syndrome. If you tune in regularly to my podcast, you would know that at this moment, I am really taking the end of the year to review and reflect on how the past year has been. And most importantly, to prepare myself to make 2024 the best year yet. In the journey of pursuing your dreams and ambition, especially when it comes to your personal growth and your career progression, it is very common for you to put yourself in a position when you are out of your comfort zone, when you are surrounded by people who are more capable, more experienced than you, because that is how you are able to grow. But the thing is, when you put yourself in that position, it is inevitable that imposter syndrome is going to kick in. And that is why in preparation to make 2024 your best year yet, I also want to now talk to you about imposter syndrome because I deal with it all the time. And I know that if you want to make 2024 your best year yet, Imposter syndrome is going to be a part of the journey. So why not let's talk about it and to kind of share with you how you can also overcome this thought to keep moving towards the life of your dream. Let's kick off by talking about what imposter syndrome is. According to Wikipedia, Imposter syndrome is a psychological occurrence in which people doubt their skills, talents, and accomplishments and have a persistent internalized fear of being exposed as frauds. So this may be the moments when you are afraid that people think that you are a fraud, you are fake, Or maybe you think that you don't deserve to be where you are right now. Or you have that fear and feeling that you are not smart enough to be where you are at. You will be surprised to know that these thoughts are actually very, very common among everybody, especially among top achievers. And that means that even successful people, people that we feel has already achieved, you know, where we aspire to be, they are still dealing with imposter syndrome. So just to give you a few examples of famous people that has publicly talked about imposter syndrome, Tom Hanks, who is a famous Hollywood actor, Sheryl Sandberg, the former CEO of Facebook, or you might know her for the book that she wrote, lean in or Howard Schultz who is the former CEO of Starbucks all these people that you would think they are already super successful they are already up there they still feel like fraud sometimes and so my question for you is when you are faced with these thoughts would you rather just give in to your protective mechanism of fight or flight or freeze and to just not do anything and give up at that moment or you want to actually put in the work to make use of this opportunity that is given to you. In the last few years, as I became a speaker and trainer, there were many instances where I was really positioned as an authority and put on stage or in front of a big screen to talk to people about different topics. 
For example, when I hosted the Digital Marketing Summit for Women in the Region or when I was invited to be the only female speaker on stage for a Wealth Accelerator Summit, these were moments where I felt like, ah, who am I to be talking to these people about what I'm doing? I felt like a fraud. I felt like I was not there yet, that I was not capable enough to be doing what I'm doing. But I was given such an amazing opportunity to actually speak out to these people and to help them, to inspire them, to motivate them and to share with them the knowledge that I know. Instead of just giving up on the opportunity just like that, I decided that, you know, sometimes you just need to do the homework because the more you know about a topic, the more you prepared about what you need to share with your audience or your clients or your superior, the better you are at knowing these things and the more confident you are in answering any questions that they have. So in dealing in such situations, sometimes the solution can be as simple as just putting in more effort to do the work to prepare yourself for whatever it is that you need to show up. And here's another food for thought. You don't need to be an Olympic gold medalist to be a good swim coach. Okay, especially for those of you who might be in a position where you are a coach or an instructor or maybe a content creator where people actually look up to you for an information. So instead of thinking that you need to be the best of the best in the world to do what you are doing, just switch your focus into the actual intention of what you are doing. So if you are a swim coach, your focus or your goal is to really coach your students to be better at their techniques or if they are training for a competition, it's really about helping them to achieve the time that they can hit for the competition. And for me, with this podcast, let me tell you, I still feel like an imposter sometimes talking to you guys. And in this episode, for example, I would feel like, oh, I'm not a psychology expert. Maybe I should invite someone who is more capable or qualified to talk to you about this. But what I did was I really pulled my focus back to the intention of this podcast. And for me, it's really to help you feel less alone in dealing with imposter syndrome. And that's exactly what I am aiming for. It's not like you are expecting me to give you psychological advice or therapy through this podcast. So when I switch my focus back to what truly matters, it actually removes a lot of those pressure and fear that I was dealing with. And one more thing that I want to remind you of, and that is something that I kind of noticed as I am pursuing my career as a content creator, is that there are always going to be people who are much more underqualified than you, but are making more money or have more followers and engagement. I'm, I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. Like when you see the profile or the advertisement for someone or you go through the program and you are like, oh, I can do better than that. So instead of just having these thoughts, I want to urge you to actually make use of your skills and up-level yourself to put yourself out there and to pursue what it is that you want to do. And I just wanted to emphasize this point for the women out there. I feel like you might have heard about this statistics, but I just want to remind you about it today, is that men apply for a job when they meet only 60% of the qualification, but women only apply if they meet 100% of them. So chances are for jobs that you feel underqualified, there is already a guy out there who felt like they are qualified and already applied for it. And because of that, they stood a chance to get a job that you didn't apply for. And I want to say that this applies to every other areas in life. Perhaps it's just 
getting the opportunity to become a singer in your company dinner. I don't know, or maybe it is to become a vendor in a night market to sell something that is for your passion. There are many times in life where, because of imposter syndrome, we don't grab the opportunity that was actually presented to us, and just lost it, and. Would probably also live in regret because you didn't take the chance out of fear. So I just wanted to take this chance to really give you that confidence and to urge you to pursue what it is. Because I also want to remind you that perhaps there might be a chance that you are not qualified or you are not good enough yet, but I also have faith that if this is something that you truly want. When you were presented with the chance or the opportunity, you would do whatever it takes to be the best that you can for whatever it is that you want to do. So, as long as you are not a con artist, as long as you are not lying your way to get to where you want, just take it. Don't let that thought or that negative voice in your head stop you from pursuing your dreams. And lastly, I want to wrap up this episode by sharing with you something that my favorite Hollywood superstar said, Miss Lady Gaga. She said that I still sometimes feel like a loser kid in high school. And I just have to pick myself up and tell myself that I am a superstar every morning, so that I can get through this day and be for my fans what they need for me to be. So what I'm trying to say is, there are bound to be days where you feel like an imposter, but just remember this: you are a superstar, and you just need to show up for. Whatever it is that you are doing, that is all that I have for you in today's episode. I hope that this serves as a good reminder, and it helps you to feel a little bit less alone in your personal growth journey. If you find this to be helpful, be sure to share it with your friends and give it a five star rating on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And I would also really appreciate it if you can give it a good review because that really helps me to grow as a content creator. And with that, I hope to see you in my next episode. And this is goodbye.